Hey, I'm working here with this uh, orange electron robot. I bought this one in a non-working condition and I'm gonna open it up and see what's wrong with it. Most of the time these don't work uh, for reasons of the gear spinning, but uh, in this case, I had a note on the package that says it just does not turn on. And the switch does look a little weird. It doesn't look like any of the other switches I've seen. So I'm gonna open it up and I always go in through the top, take the, uh, the head and the shoulders off and you can see down inside and see quite a lot from just uh, a simple thing like that. So I'll get started on it right now and show you that. So there's a tab here and a tab here that you straighten up. And you want to be careful not to over over flex these and then from that point the tabs up you can pry the top off here you can see it's starting to come up there and you can see there's some little tabs in the back that just kind of snap in and uh, in the front here there's like three fingers that kind of go over and under. And so there we have it, we have the, the top off of it. And looking down into the switch, it looks uh, looks like it could be a cold uh, solder joint there. Actually, every single solder joint looks a little rough. They're kind of moving, they're kind of a grayish, uh, flat gray, they're not shiny at all. So I'm gonna um, inspect that uh, first. This one has the LED or the blinking head in the top. A lot of them don't have that. But um, so I'm gonna put batteries in it here. And I can see from the switch that uh, right now the switch is in the off position and you can see by uh, where the wires are and on the uh, solder, there's three terminals with two wires. So when I move the switch to this position, that makes the connection between the two uh, terminals that have wires. So now it's on and now it's off. So I'm gonna check that out with a voltmeter and just see what kind of voltage I might have there. Um, Chances are this thing's got a lot of problems. Most of them seem to. So I'm getting three volts at the battery connection. And when I flip the switch, I don't get any voltage. So it could be something as simple as a, um, a bad switch here. I've got three volts on one part of the terminal, none on the other. I'm gonna try just bridging the switch connections with a screwdriver to see if, if it comes alive. I saw like a brief flash there. You can see the, uh, the light turns on. But I think it's got some issues with the connections there. Yeah, that actually just came off. You can see the wire just came right off of the switch. So I'm gonna take a test probe and connect it to the, uh, right to the voltage and see what happens there. Still don't get any activity.
So the switch is definitely bad, but there seems to be other bad connections as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, remove the head. Just so I can get it out of my way. And the wires are so flimsy, uh, I just pull on them a little right at the connection and they'll come right up. So now I'm going to um, proceed to take the body apart. to get down inside of where the wiring is. But you know, before I do that, I'm just gonna confirm some things here. So this now is the motor and the LED, the flashing part. So I'm just gonna measure my voltage here on the motor. Since I've got three volts applied. So yeah, I'm gonna to have to go inside there and see what's going on with that. I'm gonna take the, uh, the body off now. So I'm gonna take out the batteries. And when you get the body off here, the arms stay in place. There's just a, uh, tab here at the top that you straighten out on this side and a tab here that's been let's see if you can see that tab right there you just push it a little bit they're not bent very strongly and so then at this point you can lever the front away from the body See that come come apart here and then I'll do the same thing on this side. And I'm just trying to be gentle with it. There are some just another little tab down here, but it's not not held in very strongly. So you can, you can see it pulling apart there. And then I'll work on this side here. There you go, you can see it opening up right there. Get the arm out of the way. So you're basically levering the this front piece with the doors off of the back. And almost got it here. Right here's the um, the tab. I can see it working loose there.
Hopefully you can see it too. I've got that one work for you. There's the tab. It just has a slight bend in it. So you'll straighten that out when you go to put it back together. And you can see there's a little hole right here. That's where you can put a, uh, when you're assembling it, you can put a little probe in there and deform the tab to get it to lock in place. So they're, they're kind of gentle about how they lock them in. So you see how that came apart there. It just clicks into the front and the doors are spring loaded. They're like uh, saloon doors. They have a little springs here on each side. And there's just two tabs that, that are bent. These little fine tabs here, one here, one here. And on this side here and there, those are the only ones that get deformed. The other ones are just there to guide it and lock it in place. So I set the door aside. So now I can get to this mechanism. And I just want to take a look at these wires and see why this motor may not be running. So when the um, when the robot stops and starts twirling around and fires its uh, machine gun, the part that does that is uh, right here. This little piece here gets slid over like that internally by a, a gear down here. It catches on a, a gear. And open and levers itself open and spins around. The one thing that's uh, problematic are these pinion gears here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is put some glue on that and lock that in because uh, it's probably going to break if it once it starts running, it's going to it's going to break at that gear. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that. But I'm also going to go ahead and get some voltage on this motor. I've got a power supply here uh, hooked up to these leads. I've got it dialed into three volts. So I'm going to go directly to the uh, bypass the switch and go directly to the motor and see if this is going to work. So you can hear that pinion spinning, the motor spinning, and it's probably already slipped that gear. So I know that the motor is going to work. It's just a matter of getting that gear correct. But yeah, I can see already the um, the gear has moved up away from the, um, it's moved up the shaft and it's not even contacting its uh, drive gear. You can see. So I decided not to glue this plastic gear on. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it and find a metal gear and put that in place because I know they're just gonna break. Every one of these I've had breaks. So I'll find a copper one or a brass gear and install that. It's a eight tooth gear that fits on a two millimeter shaft. And when I find that, I'll uh, share that information as well. So good luck with your projects and hope you enjoyed the videos and click the uh, like and subscribe if you wanna follow along on uh, all the different things I'm uh, working on. Thanks for watching.